And be so I want to thank God for our Father. I want to thank you for sparing his life, his life so far. And I know he has a lot to do with us as God. I want to also thank him for getting the divine involved in his business. That's very key. I will recollect when my brother Lord did his six year birthday. Mr. Mala Oli. I invited him to and speak to, to that gathering at the PRA to talk about succession planning for a Nigerian businessman. The Kamala Ole was the chief of the university, then he was the chief of the university. And he spoke to that it's very good for our parents to expose our own children into business. And Papa here, to the Okoya, is not just talking about his own children, he's talking about us business people getting children, our youth involved in business. That's the way to get our youth out of poverty. One of great jobs, they also let them also learn leadership. Let them also learn how to manage enterprises. That's why my own friend's son has just joined me. He's only about 40, 41. He now runs my company. Based on the experience I've had from people like Papa, so that we must keep developing our own children. Otherwise, there will be no succession planning once we are very old and we pass away. Many Nigerian businesses have no business to have closed down, if not for poor succession planning. And Papa has done very well in that area. He has involved his family in the business, he is the family, his family, children in the, family, in the business, and they are taking the control of the business. My prayer is that they will take the companies to greater heights than what Father has done. That's my prayer for him. So I want to also appeal to Nigerians. We need to be patient. I've said before in the hall, more than five times a day, when we posted the government. We must be patient with the new Nigerian government. We have a duty to be patient because what is on ground is a damage of several decades. And I've told them in the hall this afternoon that when you have a sickness and you go for a surgery, you must have pain. After the surgery, you must still have pain. Then after you have settled down, you will not have longevity and happiness. What we are doing now is passing through the phase of the healing being brought into the economy of our nation.